سلام خیلی خوشحالم فارسی بلدی فارسی بلد شما فارسی بلدی نه سر بو I think they're in the room bro uh, he is the real messy fan باشی کاکا باشی کاکا سلام کاکا باشی It's regulated on that as well so we can Hello guys, so today we're going to go on a trip with the... The Energy Society. And what's your name? Yeah, my name is uh, Kendi. Uh, he's the head of the Energy Society and he's going to talk about the purpose of the trip. Yeah, all right. Um, uh, we're heading towards uh, the Teesside Energy from Waste Plant. And um, this is an opportunity for students to uh, learn more about the industry, how uh, waste is being converted into sustainable energy. I hope you will enjoy. And they to he told me that maybe I'm not allowed to film. So if I publish this video, then they allowed me to film. If not, then it's deleted. We just reached there now. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so whatever we get to this site, it will go into our work. Okay. It's not ours, that's uh, the national grids, and, and that will then be distributed accordingly. So they will step it up, step down, whatever they're going to do with it. We don't know because it's not ours, it's just on our land. These breaches, so we're breaching the minutes that we are out there. Our reaction would be to manually over. So there's about 850 at the top, then we go down into the second class. Uh, the bottom of which is about 600 degrees. Then we get to the top of the third pass, which is about 300 degrees. And then we leave the boiler at about 180 degrees. It goes through the flue gas. The uh, reactor reduces it down to 150. And I'll say about 150, 140 when it goes out the stack at the end. It wasn't always that we got the energy from the waste to generate electricity. Mm. Sometimes we just used to burn the waste because it reduces the volume down to about 25% of what it was, 20-25%. Um, so that was a way to avoid landfill. Um, my career highlights probably, um, it's a mix because I don't love travelling and being away from home, but you do get to see so much uh, within this job. Um, so you get to see different sites around the UK, and I've actually seen I think, more of the UK in the last 18 months than I did before. Um, but I've also had great opportunities, so I've been to Germany, Paris and the Netherlands with this job as well, which is kind of crazy. Um, I didn't think I'd be travelling that much. I think they're in the room, bro. Hamuz Blakani Iranaya. Kawal Iran recycle the Kreno. Yeah, the Kawal comes under the grates. So, this is the primary air duct in here. So, the primary air is taken from the tipping hole. So, we take that air because obviously it pulls some of the dust out and some of the order. It's so regulated on that as well, so we can't um, breach our order conditions and dust conditions. That's taken out through and then the heat exchanger is, is below. Oh. Yep. It wasn't here before like uh, 
before 2011 or something, right? Yeah. Then, uh, when, it, when was it built? Like before that, how did it work, by the I way? I think this was commissioned in 97, 1997. Right. So can you hear like a like noise coming from up there? Like that? That's the pulse air jet shooting down and cleaning the, the APCR off these bags. However, like the boiler operates to be so foul, we do want a layer of APCR on here and that's because we've found that the majority of the reaction in terms of the removal of acid gases happens on the surface of these bags so we don't want them fully clear we want like a bit of a, a build up call that code here they have a terrible issue so because we're limited with space they have to design a heat exchanger that is uh, what we call finned so it means instead of it being like a straight tube like a, a, a flat tube with nothing on the surface it looks like a spiral and the reason they did that was to increase the heat exchange area but <laughs> it's created um, more area for dust to stick on so if you're taking your primary air from that dusty tipping hole and then you've got dust building up on the surface of the heat exchanger but there's no cleaning system within there so it builds up builds up until you can't get air through it so at that point we would have to bypass the heat exchanger bypass the preheater <laughs> When we burn the waste, it produces an ash, and that ash is full of everything that you would just put into your rubbish. So be full of metals and whatever, because obviously the metal isn't going to melt. Some metal melts, the aluminium will melt and work its work its way like down through the grates. So the the ash that we're left with that incinerate bottom ash undergoes a partial hazard assessment every two weeks and a full hazard assessment an annually. So we take that ash, it falls into the bottom ash conveyor, it's quenched by the water so it's cooled down and then it goes off into the bottom ash pit and then it'll be taken just over the road there to a company called Blue Phoenix. So they process the ash so they will separate the ash on size grade. Um, remove any oversized, um, separate the size grade, and then we'll remove the ferrous and non-ferrous metals, and they'll be sold uh, again within their size grades to metal processors, and then the residual ash we call that IBAA uh, aggregate, and uh, that is used in the building industry. We got Persian guy out here. I mean, Bonnie. Hey, salam. Can you sing us a Persian song? Something like, you know, famous. Famous? What is that, Pashai? What is that, Pashai? I don't remember what is that, Pashai. Okay, the new ones. Mehra Jam. Mehra Jam. I can't do more saying on it. Gola Hayahu. Ah, what is Gola Hayahu? I don't remember the lyrics. I know, I know more than you. Say the first verse, I'd say. Ah, hi, hush, kele, hush, 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 آخای وصله به مورخای تا سنجاق شقایق آخای ای گل شب بود آخای گل حیاهو رنالدو رو مسی؟ مسی 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 م